Hi there everyone and welcome to Todd's Tech Tips. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to combine multiple files into a single PDF using Adobe Acrobat X. To do this all you need is a few documents or a few Photoshop documents or any kind of file you want to convert it to a PDF. It must be a document or it must be a Photoshop document, it can't be video or anything like that. So I'm just going to use three Word documents and I'm going to go ahead and open up Adobe Acrobat X. Next we can either do this method from the welcome screen or I'm just going to go up here and click file. And then we're going to go to create, then we're going to say com combine files into a single PDF. Next we can either drag and drop the files, so that's what I'm going to do since that's the easiest. So we're going to just click and hold and select these files. Then we're going to click and drag into the, f into the drop box. Next here we can rearrange them by just clicking and dragging. I can make this one here go before the second one. We have total control of what documents go where and it'll be the same with the pages. Um, you can do all heaps of things. You can name them, you can change the file size down here, or we can just hit combine files. This shouldn't take too long depending on the kind of document you're working with of course. If you have multiple images of course it'll take a bit longer. Also remember if you're dealing with images you want to make sure that that file size is up to the fullest over on the right here. These are just text documents, so they shouldn't take too long. This just gives you a good idea of how long it'll take. And that's that. We can scroll through the document here. And this is the third one. We can zoom out a bit. It's my website there. You can go check it out if you want. And also, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out. And also, this is the second document, so we can we could have moved that up, but just to show you that you can move documents around. Then we can just click close, and we can save it. But I'm not going to save it, so that's that. You can do this with as many files as you want, and it's really handy to know. Thanks again for watching, I hope you found this tutorial worthwhile, and don't forget to subscribe to Todd's Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other computer videos. Thanks again for watching, and have a nice day.